Page 73, number 22, the question asks you to um, determine a combination of transformations that would produce the second parabola from the first and determine a possible equation for the second parabola. So the second parabola obviously is in this one over here. And what I've done is drawn a few uh, points from the graph. You really need to have a magnifying glass to figure out what all these little points are. And hopefully if this was a question on a test set, it would be much more clear where the points are, maybe even labeled for you. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is what is the difference between a vertical compression and a horizontal stretch? And the answer is absolutely nothing except the value that you're solving either for the A or the K, and they will be different. If I took the parabola y equals x squared and I push down, in other words, I'm compressing, I get this function right here. So this would be a vertical compression. And that means that my a value is going to be between 0 and 1. If I take the graph y equals x squared and I pull it this way, I'm horizontally stretching the graph. Horizontal stretch. And as you know, horizontal stretch, those values are for k. And k is going to be between 0 and 1 as well. Because when you figure out the mapping rule, it's 1 over k, right? Okay, so let's take a look at what I know already. I know this point here is minus 6 and 2. I know this point here is, oh, make sure you check the scale because the, the scale is by 2's, not your normal 1. So if this was 2, this point here is minus 2. So minus 2, minus 2 right here, minus 2, minus 2. And this point here is 0 and minus 7. Those are the ones that I think I could read quite clearly off of the function. So if, what do I know already? Okay, so let's state. First of all, we know it's been reflected about the x-axis. And because it's reflected about the x-axis, that means that A is negative. The second thing I know is the vertex of the new parabola which is minus 6 and 2, that means it's been shifted, shifted left 6 units, 6 units, and it's been shifted down 2. Okay, so I know the shifts, that means I know my C and D values, down 2 units. So if I were to give you an equation, if this is all that happened and the, the shape of this problem was exactly the same as this one and there wasn't any stretches or compressions vertically or horizontally, you would give me the equation y equals negative and you'd say x shifted left so that was x plus 6 squared plus 2. But in this case this isn't the truth. There is an a value here that you have to determine or possibly, I'll write the other one a little bit below it here, we could be looking for the k value. So there's k if it's horizontal. Okay, so I'm going to put in all these values here, squared plus 2. Okay, so how do you determine the a and the k? You've got everything else. So if this was on a test, not so bad. At least you've got some marks. You've understood the different types of transformations. And you could say, even if you couldn't find the A or the K value, you could say the graph has been vertically compressed by a factor that I don't know what it is. At least write that down so the teacher knows that you understand there was a compression. So for the regular parabola Y equals X squared, if I go over two units to the right, I go up four. Right? 2, 2 squared, 4. In this graph, however, if I go 2 to the right, I'm only going down 1. So that means I've compressed it by 1 quarter. That's the easy one, the vertical one. Minus 1 quarter, x plus 6 squared, plus 2. Now, the horizontal one is a little more difficult. Um, the best way to do it that I find is to try to put this parabola back over here. 
So I'm going to move these three points. I'm just going to do half the parabola because that's all you really need to see it. I'm going to move them all right six and down two. So if I move minus six two, minus six two, and I'm going to write over here what I'm doing, right six down two, I'm going to get zero zero. If I take this point right here, which is minus two and minus two, it should say, and I go right six, that's going to take me to four and down two minus four. Okay, so let me just fix this one here because I put the wrong sign. Okay, minus two, minus two. If I take the point zero and minus seven and I move it right six, that's going to give me six and down two is minus nine. So two, four, six and minus two, four, six, eight, nine puts it here. I had a zero here and the other one was four and minus four. So here is part of the parabola. Now for me to see this even more clearly I'm going to reflect this back up. So 0, 0 stays here. 4 minus 4 is going to become 4 and 4 and 0 and minus 7, or sorry not 0, but 6 and minus 7 is going to be, or minus 9 is going to become 6 and 9. 6, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So here is where this function would be if all I did was horizontally stretch it. I didn't shift it left or right and I'm, or I could say this is where it would be if I vertically compressed it and I know that value was a half. But what is the horizontal stretch factor here? So if I look at these two points right here, because these are the key to my answer, I know that I'm at the same height, 2 and 4, 4 and 4. So the height, I've done nothing to the y's, so I haven't stretched or compressed the y values, but I have changed the x from being 2 to 4. So that means x was doubled. x was doubled. So if I multiply the x's by 2, that means the k has to be 1 half. Okay, so that's, that's where you come to this final value here for your k. It's going to be 1 half x minus 6 squared plus 2. And that's the answer to this question that I did a couple of times before I actually feel I've explained it properly for you. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll do my best to get a short video up for you as soon as I can. And don't forget to subscribe and tell all your grade 11 friends to follow along and be happy they did for grade 12 functions and calculus and vectors as well. All the best.